Hey K-Poppers and welcome back to Hell at You. Today's deep dive is all about the 9 member girl group TWICE, a girl group juggernaut who showed no signs of slowing down anytime soon. We're going to start by discussing the group's creation through the survival show 16 and then take a look at the early success they found upon debut. Then we'll talk about just how successful the girls have been over the years since their debut and see how their success in Japan has been a big part of that. And finally we'll take a big picture look at some of the reasons why TWICE has been so successful and why that success will last for years to come. Before we get started, a quick thank you to Hallyu's honorary producers. Hallyu's patrons get to show off their bias group right here in every video, they get to have their say in future videos and projects on the channel, and they get access to the official Hallyu Discord server where they can chat about K-pop and even listen to it together. So if you want to leave your mark on Hallyu and be a part of our growing community, come join us over on Patreon. Alright now let's discover the reasons behind TWICE's superstar status. The story of TWICE begins with the Survival Show 16 which was a joint venture between JYP Entertainment and Mnet. This show aired over the summer of 2015 and I think it's safe to say that the massive success that the show saw, along with the success TWICE had not too long after their debut, were a big part of Mnet committing to future survival shows like the Produce 101 series. The show featured 16 different contestants, hence the name 16, and while only 9 members would go on to debut, you probably know almost all the contestants who didn't. The list of idols who competed in 16 but didn't debut in TWICE includes Itzy's Cheryong, Somi, Nadi, Promise9's G1, and Eyes1's Cheyun. So needless to say the lineup for the show was stacked. Every episode the contestants would be split into major and minor teams, with the major team having an easier time thanks to a nicer practice schedule, dorm, and other amenities. Each week, the results of each trainee's performance would shuffle up who was on which team, and over the course of 10 episodes some were gradually eliminated, including Momo in episode 6. As the final decision neared, the seven major necklaces were given to Nayeon, Jonghyun, Dahyun, Mina, Sana, Cheyoung, and Jihyo, eliminating Chui and Cheryong. And then the surprise twist came out. JYP announced that instead of being a seven member group, TWICE would be a nine member group with one more member being added from fan voting and one directly from JYP and his team's decision. The fans chose Chui in the end, and JYP chose Mo, a trainee who had been out for over a third of the show. This decision riled up some of the show's fans at the time, but I think it's fair to say that in hindsight this was a great decision by JYP to round out the group's talents and strengths. And with that, 16 concluded and we finally had our lineup. TWICE's journey could finally begin. On October 20th, 2015, the 9 girls made their debut with The Story Begins and the title track Like Ua. The song did well, but it wasn't really groundbreaking by any means. In fact, the song's peak on music charts wasn't until 3 months after its release thanks to a second wave of hype that pushed it into the top 10, and the album itself only ever reached number 3. That being said, they were still getting recognized for their talent. After all, they did win the 2015 MAMA for Best New Female Artist. And then, with their first comeback, TWICE hit it big. In April of 2016, the girl group released their EP Page 2, which of course features the smash hit Cheer Up. Now I want to take a quick detour here because there's some really cool facts about Cheer Up that not everyone knows. First off, Cheer Up is actually based on a 1998 hit song from Korea. It's a rearranged version of the song Precious Love by Park Ji Yoon. Take a listen and see if you can hear some of the same elements. The other really cool thing about Cheer Up, which TWICE would go on to do again in What Is Love, is that they referenced a ton of famous movies throughout the MV. There are scenes in the MV which depict the movie Scream, Love Letter, Sailor Moon, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Chungking Express, The Great Train Robbery, Huang Jin Yi, Resident Evil, and of course the cheerleading movie Bring It On. And while we're at it, here's the list of movies in What Is Love. They reference Old Boy, Ghost, La La Land, La Boom, Leon the Professional, Love Letter Again, The Princess Diaries, Pulp Fiction, and Romeo and Juliet. Back to the story though. Page 2 sold incredibly well and it made twice the first girl group to sell 100,000 albums in 2016 when it achieved that mark in the summer. And it didn't hurt that Sana's adorable shy 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 move became a viral meme in Korea and with fans of K-pop around the world. And of course this led to a special moment on M Countdown where this happened on the one year anniversary of the initial airing of 16. And as you could likely guess, TWICE went on to win even more shows after this one for the song. Building off of this huge momentum, the girls released their 30p TWICE Coaster Lane 1 with the title track TT which did even better. It sold over 350,000 copies which was astronomical in 2016, and it topped the Gowan Digital chart for a month straight not to mention cracking the top 3 for Billboard's World Album and Song Charts. 
in what seemed like no time at all, Twice were already a top tier superstar girl group not to be messed with, and it only continued growing from there. Now, I could go on rattling off every single Twice comeback that topped the charts since 2016, every KCON, every tour stop they made, every showcase they had that sold out in minutes or less, but those are just numbers without context. What's more interesting and what tells the story of Twice in my opinion is looking at these numbers in the bigger picture, and talking about their success in Japan, which we'll get to shortly. But get this, remember how we talked about their debut EP earlier which peaked at number 3 on the charts? That is the worst a Twice release has ever charted. I'm talking about EPs, albums, reissues, Japanese compilation albums, everything. They've had the number 3 spot from their debut, 6 number 2s, and 13 number 1 albums. This is a group that has quite literally never missed on a comeback, it's really astonishing. Of course, album sales go hand in hand with high charting, and these girls have sold over 10 million albums since 2015. Now that is a really big number, so let's put that in perspective for a second. Blackpink's The Album sold about 1.3 million copies so far, which broke the all-time record for a female artist set by BoA. To reach twice as total, they would need to do that 7 more times. That really goes to show not only how popular, but how consistent these girls have been in releasing hit songs and albums. And as fans, we know it too. Knock Knock, Likey, What Is Love, Dance The Night Away, Yes or Yes, Fancy, Feel Special, More and More, I Can't Stop Me. The list of Grady bops that Twice has released just goes on and on and on. And as I alluded to, a big part of their success hasn't actually come from Korea, so let's talk about how that has helped shape the group's journey as well. I think the first thing that we need to remember about groups promoting in Japan is that it doesn't always work out. Not only can the style just not gel with Japanese fans, but there's also a very difficult balancing act to make sure you're not neglecting your Korean fanbase or your Japanese one at any given time. We saw in the Rainbow Deep Dive a couple of months ago how committing too much to Japanese promotions can be detrimental to your overall popularity, but in the case of Twice, they had a couple of things going on for them that really helped them become superstars there as well. First off, and probably most importantly, is their members. Twice has a Japanese line, namely Momo, Sana, and Mina. This is a huge help because you have a third of the group who can really carry the group in their releases as well as concerts and fan events where speaking Japanese is a must. But another huge reason for Twice's success is simply their commitment to the fans there. So many groups will have a Japanese release that's just the same Korean song but now sung in Japanese. But not Twice. These girls have released a ton of original Japanese music including One More Time, Candy Pop, Wake Me Up, BDZ, Happy Happy, Fake and True, Fanfare Better, again the list just goes on and on and on. And it has made a big difference. Remember how I said that Twice has sold over 10 million albums as a group? Well about 40% of those album sales have come from Japan, nearly half of the total. Twice have perfected the art of making music for two fan bases in Korea and Japan, and this is one of the biggest factors that have made them global superstars. That being said, there is a lot more to their success than just that, so let's talk about why Twice has been at the top all this time since their debut, and why they'll be staying there for years to come. And we've actually in a roundabout way been talking about this all the way through the deep dive. Because in my opinion, the reason Twice are perennial superstars isn't one single big reason, it's actually a collection of smaller, important reasons that together give them a huge edge over other girl groups. First off, they're in a big four label, namely JYP Entertainment, and that's not a slight against the girls at all. Being in JYP gives them more trainers, better staff, more resources, etc. to be the very best version of themselves. And of course it opens up more opportunities for them, which the girls have taken and shined in every single time. But beyond that, TWICE is the epitome of an all-rounder, and that is by design. Remember when we talked about how TWICE's 7 member roster was augmented with Chewie and Momo? JYP himself said way back then that these members were added to complete TWICE. It really doesn't matter what angle you're coming from, TWICE just has it. Visuals, vocals, dancing, performance on variety and reality shows, Japanese capabilities, for everything that a single fan could value in a group, there are a handful of TWICE members who fit the bill, and it makes them appealing to just about everyone. Another important reason is consistency, which we kind of talked about already. It really feels like you're never far off from a TWICE comeback, and the numbers support that. If you take all of the studio albums, EPs, reissues, and compilation albums, TWICE releases a new album on average every 94 days. That is absurd. Over the past 5.5 years, TWICE has released a new album of some form every 3 months on average. It's no wonder that these girls are perpetually in the spotlight and raking in the sales totals. And one last piece that I feel is important to the group's success, mental health. JYP has in my view been leading the industry in supporting their members when they need a break from the spotlight and stress. We've seen this with Day6 and we've seen it with Twice as well. 
Both Mina and Jungyun have taken brief hiatuses over the course of their career so far, and it has been fully supported by the label. They're not rushed back, and their struggles are validated, and this is a huge deal. We just talked about how frequently TWICE has been pumping out hits, and that can easily cause some burnout or mental health issues. But it's clear that JYP has made the members' health a priority, and this makes the group's success sustainable. With incredible all-around talent, the support of JYP and their fans in Korea, Japan, and around the world, TWICE will continue to prove that they truly are one in a million. Alright guys, that concludes our look at TWICE. What do you think has been the most important reason for TWICE's reign as K-pop superstars? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because we explore a new story like this one and enjoy tons of K-pop content every single week right here at Hallyu. This has been Deep Dive number 44, TWICE.